And you've probably heard of the term catfish. It refers to a scammer who pretends to be someone else on the internet. One woman's fall for an online romance scam quickly turns into an alleged plot to murder her 88-year-old mother and a visit to a digital rehab facility. On this week's episode of Caught, presented by Catfished, we're going to be taking a look at the effects that desperation can have on someone, as well as the great lengths that someone will go to to keep their online relationship alive. The story begins in 2017. 66-year-old Roxanne Reed of Garner, North Carolina, lived in a small house with her aging mother, Emma Marine Hammontree. At the time, Roxanne had been filing for bankruptcy at a $30,000 balance. She was forced to live with her mother as most of her living expenses were being taken care of by her. Records showed that her 88-year-old mother had also been dealing with financial issues and seemed to be doing everything that she could to take care of the both of them. Roxanne was single and alone until she met a man named Scott Humple that she met online. From court release messages, the two seemed infatuated with one another. Anything he asked her to do, she wouldn't hesitate to do so. Though they have never met or talked on the phone, Roxanne believed that she and Scott were actually married, a fabrication that investigators don't know which one of them made. Soon, Roxanne's family heard what had been going on with her online relationship, as she had been stealing money from her friends and family members. After hearing about all of the money she had been sending to her so-called online husband, her family became concerned and contacted the authorities, asking them to look into the online romance scam that Roxanne had fallen into. When police started investigating, they found that the money Roxanne had been sending to her Prince Charming was actually money she was stealing from her mother, family members, and friends. They also found that she had told Scott she was planning on killing her 88-year-old mother, with whom she lived with. Unsure of how the death of her mother would bring her fortune, the police believed she was dealing with some form of possible mental disorder. In the message, Roxanne told Scott, Poison, it will be, unless I can think of something else, baby. On August 12, 2018, Roxanne was arrested and charged with a felony on one count of conspiracy to commit murder. Police have not found yet who Roxanne was sending the money to, but they did find the real Scott Humple. He is the owner of multiple physical therapy centers in Corpus Christi, Texas, and has been a longtime victim of impersonation by many other catfishing cases. When asked why Roxanne would want to kill her mother, police captain Joe Binns said, It was related to money. It was all about the money, about sending this person money. If she was able to kill her mom, she would be able to send them more. In December of 2018, Roxanne was released to her son as she awaits a court hearing. When released, the judge ordered that she go directly to a digital addiction facility in Florida. At this facility, Roxanne will be granted no internet access and will learn to deal with some of the effects that the computer may have on her. Once her treatment is complete, she will live out the rest of her days with her eldest son and will strictly be prohibited from using the internet moving forward. And so concludes the strange case of Roxanne Reed. Let us know in the comments section down below if you think that digital rehab treatment will keep her from using the internet. For more in-depth details on this case, please feel free to check out our blog linked in the description. For teasers on new episodes, be sure to follow us on our other social media pages, hit that notification bell and subscribe button to be notified when the next episode of Caught, presented by Catfish, goes live.